Greetings, this is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2019-5, part 4, Methods for Working Cables. This is my favorite method for working cables. So in previous videos, we talked about using a cable needle and knitting off the cable needle. We talked about using a cable needle and transferring to the left needle. We talked about using a cable needle and swatching stitches. But in this video, we're going to talk about working cables without a cable needle at all. It is my favorite method, and the reason why is really for two reasons. Three reasons, I think. Um, one reason is that I don't have to keep track of where my cable needle is. I don't have to find it, search for it. I don't have to worry about picking it up, putting it down, any of that. Um, and the second reason then is it things go a little bit faster because I'm not having to always search for my needle or put it away or pick it up or anything. And then I also really like this method because it does not stretch my stitches. Um, it's just a very fluid way of doing things. Now, I will say... Um, this works on most cables and it has worked on all cables for the Geiger sweater so far for me. Some very big cables, it's a little bit difficult and it might get unwieldy and you might want to use a cable needle for things that are like a four over four or a three over six or something like that if you run into those. But um, so far, as I said, I haven't had to use a cable needle. Um, and it's just... Um, really kind of a delightful way to do things. So it may be a little bit difficult for you at the beginning, but I really do encourage you to try to get used to using this because it will just um, make knitting this very textured uh, sweater and cable, highly cabled sweater so much easier for you if you can do it this way. So let's just jump right into it. Enough of my selling. So um, you'll be working without a cable needle. And so for this video, these are the stitches that I'm showing on my left hand needle. They're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you'll start off and it says slip the three stitches to a cable needle and hold in front. Well, I'm not using a cable needle, but what I want to do is I want to make sure that these three stitches fall in the front. This is stitch one, two, and three. These are the ones that would have been on my cable needle. So I am going to reach back behind one, two, and three, and I can kind of hold them with my thumb here. And I'm going to reach back and I'm going to go to four, five, and six in the back here and put my needle in those stitches from right to left through the back. And I've got them on my right hand needle. Then I am going to pinch stitches one, two, and three with my thumb in the front here and my finger, and I'm going to push this whole business off the left hand needle. Stitches one, two, and three are going to fall to the front. Stitches four, five, and six are on my right hand needle in the back there. I'm going to reach my left hand needle around the front, and I am going to get stitches three and two and one and put them on my left needle. These stitches did not unravel. This is sticky wool yarn and these aren't going to come out and unravel on you. They just sit there, especially if you had them pinched a little bit. So those are on my left needle now. Then I am going to take the three original stitches that, that I grabbed from the back. So these are stitches four, five, and six right now. And I'm going to put them back on my left needle, six, five, and four. And so now my stitches are twisted and I am going to work them. So this is stitch four. I am going to purl. Stitch five. I am going to purl. And stitch six. Purl. And then the next three would have been the ones that are on my cable needle. And I am going to knit those three stitches. One, two, three. Okay. This is a knit stitch going to a purl stitch. So I'm going to work my next stitch and I'm going to wrap it in the opposite direction to tighten that up. Um, remember, this is only done on the right side, not on the wrong side. And when you get to the wrong side, you're going to have to work this stitch. You're going to have to knit it through the back loop to untwist it. If you want to see how that's done, you can go to part one of this video series. I'm going to purl the next four stitches and then come up to my next instruction. 
So this next cable says slip three stitches to the cable needle and hold in back. Well, I'm not using a cable needle, but I want to have those three stitches fall to the back. In order to do that, I reach around the front past them. That's stitch one, two, and three. I reach in front past them to four, five, and six. Insert my right needle into them, and then I pinch these stitches again and let the whole business fall off my left needle. One, two, and three are falling to the back there. This is four, five, and six on my right needle. I'm going to take my left needle and reach around the back and get stitches three, two, and one onto my left needle. And then I am going to transfer stitches six, five, and four to my left needle. And then I am going to knit stitches four, five, and six. And then I'm going from a knit to a purl. And so I'm going to purl my next stitch and wrap it in the opposite direction, then purl the next two stitches. And I have completed that twist. So that is my favorite method. And I encourage you to try it on this cardigan. It will save you a bunch of time and it works very, very well. So the next video in this series, episode six, is going to cover reading cable charts. I very strongly encourage you to watch that one. Um, you can follow cable charts religiously and read the instructions every time you come to one. But if you can get to the point where you can actually see the symbol and know what it's telling you without reading the words, it's going to save you a little time too. So please check that out. And thank you for joining me today. Bye.